we asked the question, is this the best water-based paint for you PVC windows? I'm asking you, comments. What? Prep of your UPVC window. Colour bond. Vinyl clean. This is your first wash down coat. Three to one ratio. Three water to one parts of this. All I do, scrub it over with a brush. Then we give it a bit of a key with some scotch bright pad. Like so. And with this being new UPVC, I like to use my gold flex pads on them as well, just to get a little bit of a scratch on, nothing too much. Let it soak in, then wipe that off. Microfiber cloth, just dry it off. When that's dry, I'll go over it with window prep, which is also from Colourbond. Welcome fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. It's Phil Beckwith, your professional painter and decorator. Back with a second attempt, as I will say. Now, you've seen the, I'll say prelude, whatever you want to call it, the little bit at the beginning where I'm preparing a UPVC window. Right, I'm preparing a UPVC window, can't even get out, preparing it, to try and spray, if I can, using a QT5 HVLP, I want to give it a go again with the Colourbond Aquatec. Now, if you saw my video as of last year, which must be easily 12 months ago, there's a link there. I didn't have much success with it. So I thought, to be fair, I've contacted Colourbond, spoke to Simon and David at Colourbond again, they know we had a little bit of a problem last year with the Colour Bond Aquatec and the Adhesion. Watch that video. They were very surprised at the results that I got. Now, I was surprised because I've used this on other things and I get my nail on it and I can't shift it. So I was really 
I don't want to use the word disappointed. I would, let's call it surprised. I was really surprised that I couldn't get the Colour Bond Aquatec to actually adhere well to a UPVC window. Now it was a, a, a new UB. Get my words out in a minute. It was a new UPVC window but that shouldn't make any difference. It was all prepared properly. It was using all their window prep, um, vinyl clean. I did it all properly, scotch bright pad. I even like going over with a finer sanding pad just to give that a little bit of a key and to take that surface off. But when I used this last year, I wasn't too happy. I brushed it and I did spraying and both results were exactly the same. So yeah, I've um, been in touch with Colour Bond again to say, look, I want to do another video, I want to give it another go. Any tips that you can give me? I know Simon gave me a bit of a tip last year uh, just to dilute the paint slightly, add a bit of water to it, make it flow out better, which I did mention in the video that that's what I'd probably do for a next time round. But um, David said, Phil, don't use the paint that I had last year. There's a shelf life to it, even though I think it'll probably be all right because I've used it on other things recently and it's been fine. But it's been good and he sent me another little sample tin out just for the purpose of this video, just to see what I think to it. And I will say, I'll give you an honest opinion again. If we're struggling with it, I'm gonna tell you. I do like Colour Bond, I like the original, you know, like the classic, the original that I call it. I've sprayed windows and doors with that, don't have any problem. The Aquatech, I've always been a little bit apprehensive about. But to be fair, I'm going to give it another go and let's see what results we can get. You've seen me prepping that window. That window was supplied by, thank. I'm going to say thank you, to Trent Valley Windows in Nottingham. I just um, called in on the off chance if they've got any samples that were being stuck into the skip and the, they had that window that you can see that I've cleaned up. That was uh, a mismatch uh, measurement. That was going to be binned and this says, feel free to take it. So no sponsorship from them, but I will say thank you very much to Trent Valley Windows. They're down at the, oh, where are they? Um, is it Teal Close down at Stoke Lane, Netherfield, Stroke Colic in Nottingham? Check them out, Google them, Trent Valley Windows. So yeah, there's no sponsorship from them, but they just, they just did supply me with a, um, a window that they were gonna put in the skip. So thank you very much to them. Right, without further ado, I'm gonna crack on and let's see what this window's light like sprayed. You can only see my stomach. What I've done, I'll swap my needle over to a 1.8. That'll just get a little bit more paint through. I've mixed up the Aquatec. I'm gonna tip it into my suction pot. Not all of it. And what I'm gonna do, that I didn't do last time, I'm literally, I've got some clean water. Look, you can see. Probably got about that much paint in there. I'm just literally gonna pour a splash of water to it. Ample, there's probably a bit too much there, but this is gonna be a bit of a thin coat. Just mixing it up. And this should go on nicely. So I'll have a little bit of a practice on my practice board. I'll come back to you and away we'll go. Don't forget, mask. Your air regulation on a QT5 is there. That'll be shut off, no air, opening all the way up to fill the pot up. Now I want the atomization, so I'm gonna leave it fully open. If I feel there's too much, atomization, too much paint, too much air, I can just slowly, very carefully reduce that airflow. But a bit of trial and error on that. My next thing, I'm gonna dial it all the way in. That's just letting air out, no paint. As I let that back, I'll let a bit of paint out at a time. For that first mist coat, I'm only gonna get a fine mist of paint going on. Follow me? Good. Got my sample piece there. Just gonna have a practice. Can 
you see that? That's a very fine mist of paint. If I actually open that out more, more paint. I don't want that. So I'm going to dial it in. No paint will come out and slowly bring it back. The other thing to remember is the fan pattern. It's either wide or narrow. On this window, I'm only going to want inch and a half, two inch sort of width. From that, I'll be able to control it. I'm going to let it go at that, so let's try and bring you in. Let's see how we go, mother. Right, you probably can't see it. That is a very fine mist coat. I've not allowed too much paint to go on. Did you notice I'm regulating the spray, whether it's horizontal or vertical, and I'm just rotating that air cap. You know I call them the ram's horns, the bull horns, whatever you want to call it. The air comes out the two top, well, the air comes out the top and the bottom, atomizers, gives you a flat pattern. That way around will give you a vertical. So what I've done, I've gone round, done all the edges. With this Aquatech, Colour Bond Aquatech, you don't have to worry about the rubber seals. You can go on to those. It's the same with their classic, the original classic, I call it their classic original. You know which one I mean, the spirit based one, the dry, it dries within minutes, seconds. Now this, just had a mist coat. I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes. I'm gonna still stick with the same paint that will be dry and I'll go over it and I'll build it up. I'm hoping with that mist coat, two to three coats over the top, bearing in mind it's white, will actually be a lovely finish. And it's still quite thin. I didn't want to put too much on. The 1.8 needle set, will, well, I could put quite a bit of paint on with that. I don't want to put quite a bit of paint on. I'm regulating it by the control of the paint flow at the end. So, um, shall I see you in 10 minutes? I think I can do that. Go and get yourself a drink. Catch you later. Right, me lovelies. Ten minutes. Probably don't even need that. That's gone off enough that I can now start getting another coat on. And what I'll do, I'll just build it up with a thicker layer. And then we'll stop. So, um, stick with me.
Right. You see, I've done that. Just gave it another. I gave it a double pass as I went up and down. So, did a section and brought it across. I'm only spraying about that width. Now, I've not put too much on. I've still gave it. I don't want to call it a mist coat. I've gave it a first layer over that mist coat. Now, I'm going to give that another 10 minutes. Then I'm going to give it another one. See what it's like. I'm not worried if I need to give it three coats over that mist because how long it's taken me to do that it's neither here nor there material wise neither here nor there if I was pricing this up as a job I'd allow for a mist coat and three coats just in case now some of you are going to say oh use such and such paint you can get it out in one or two coats I don't want to do that I want to see what this is like building it up in layers to get a better I'll say a better result than I did when I did that over my left shoulder. That video there. This, so far, because I have thinned it, is going on really nice. I can just see it there. You know that little bit of an orange peel that you get when you've got wet paint from spray? That's starting to flow out. And I've done it as a vertical window. I've put Perspex glass in that. It's not, yeah. I've done it upright, so there's none of this, oh, you've sprayed it on a flat surface like that. I'm doing it as you would do a window on a house. Albeit, I've not had to tape up any brickwork. Albeit, I've not had to take out any silicone, silicone round the edges. I've done that on a window. Look at that video there. Take out all the silicone, clean it all down, then you re-silicone it with the mastic cork, whatever you want to call it afterwards. I've not done that. I'm doing this to see whether I actually did it wrong the last time and two, can I get a better result? Now, if the result is better from me spraying it this time round, I'm gonna give it six to eight weeks and I'll come back to it and see how it looks. Does that make sense? I might even get me other sample board out, spray it while I'm waiting, and then we can do that as a scratch test to compare it. I think I'll do that. Right, it's been about 10 minutes since I last spoke to you. In between, I've actually got my old sample UPVC window out. You may remember the one from the video I've linked to that it scratched off. What I've done, I've re-cleaned that down, just wiped it over with the window prep because previously I did sand it all down. I did use all the um, vinyl clean um, and the window prep over it. But this time around, I've just wiped it with a window prep, made sure there was no bits that had just stuck on it over the last oh, was nearly 12 months. And um, what I've done, I've given that a mist coat and I'm gonna bring that up to a finish, like I'm bringing this up to a finish, because my idea is I'm not gonna be scratch testing this because I want to use this in the future for repainting over it with different colors of UPVC window paint. So my scratch test sample will be my original window. But this time round, I'll have the old stuff that I used last year and then this stuff that I'm using this year and let's see how they compare. But I don't want to scratch test, I'll do it six to eight weeks time. Let's call it two months from now. From you watching this video, there'll be one in the future that will be the scratch test video. So um, bear with us on that one. But for now, that's had a mist coat and uh, what I've had, a couple of coats over the top lost track well, I'm going to give it another one now and see how we are I have lost track of how many coats I've gave it I've only gave it a mist coat and a top coat so far I'm done. right see how we go each time I'm just letting a little bit more paint come through regulating it
Not bad. There's plenty to actually let it go at that, but I'm not. I'm going to let that dry off again. We'll give it another 10 15 minutes and then I'll give it a final coat. But that is virtually covered. The reason I want to give it a final coat, if I haven't missed anywhere, because you can see I've been spraying, I'm keeping about that far distance. I'm monitoring. The closer you are to the surface, the more paint you're going to put on. The further away, the less paint you're going to put on. So, trial and error. When you're getting into it, you'll, you'll feel how much distance you need from the surface. That's not bad at all. I can just... I don't know whether I can see it being a bit see-through at the minute. No, I'm quite happy. I'm going to let that dry. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to give another coat to the um, sample board. But do you know what? That's not bad at all. My only criticism is I've got a suction pot underneath. If I was doing this on a job, I'd rig this up to remo the remote pot. So I've got the gun mobile in any angle. At the moment, I'm really struggling to tip the gun to get those bottom edges across the top across that middle rail and also down across the bottom. I don't want to get paint everywhere, but if I got a remote pot where I've got a pot separate to the actual gun, the pot would be here and I'd be going really all over the place. But I'm doing a I'm doing a YouTube video to show you this. Catch you in a bit. This will be my final coat. So it's had a mist coat, two in between coats and this will be a third top coat so in effect four as I said in the last segment that's actually covered you don't need any more than that but I want to give it a nice build up of a coat not too heavy looks lovely now well I'll just give it a final I'm just allowing a little bit more paint through so it'll have a nicer surface um, coat of paint and then that will flow out so let's see how we go Oh, by the way, that sample board, UPVC, has been actually, while I've been waiting for this, has been brought up to the same amount of coats of paint as this. That'll be the scratch test one. beautiful let's let that dry off and we'll come back reconvene and we'll have a conflab right let's do a bit of a sum up brand new tin aquatech from color bond anthracite color you've seen what i've done sprayed it with hvlp qt5 brilliant machine 1.8 needle right all properly cleaned down you saw that at the beginning of the video we asked the question is this the best water-based paint for you PVC windows I'm asking you comments while you're commenting if you want to smash that like button do you want to press give thanks send me some thanks don't mind if you do or you don't but it's nice if you do already have people send me thanks and I thank them. I won't mention any names because I don't want to pick anybody out in particular, but I'm looking at you. Thank you very much for sending thanks. It all helps. Right, it's had a mist coat. Dialed it down on the um, paint flow at the back. Put a mist coat on. Then I did three built up coats over the top. Now that is a lovely finish. I have to say, Simon was right at Colourbond when I did it last year. I needed to put a splash of water in it to get that mix of paint and water, the atomization with the airflow to get a nice coat. It's actually been a lot better with a splash of water. It's actual coverage flow, it's flowed out nicely. Now I gave it three, i.e. three top coats over a mist coat. I didn't need that because it had actually gone nicely with two top coats over the mist coat. It's by the by, I, I can give it another one. I've allowed to give it another one. What I've also done... The that sample board from last year, you remember it? Didn't do very well, did it? Let's get it even closer. Can you see? A little bit pimply because I didn't thin it. But this time round, I've done it. 
exactly the same as what I've done with the big window. I gave it lighter coats, built it up. The mist coat was really quite a fine mist coat, then built it up. Splash water has made all that difference. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. It's a lot smoother. Now, I can actually see where I've missed on this. And I said before, if I'd got my remote pot, I could get on those inner edges. I don't think you can see it. I could get those inner edges. If this was a proper job, I'd be, room, I'd be using a remote pot to get around there. But this is a sample, so we're not too worried about that. But coverage wise, I've just missed that bottom edge. And that's because I was spraying it that way against the floor and I couldn't get underneath. But other than that, round those edges, I'm just looking, it's all good. It actually feels beautiful. It feels really nice. But enough about that one. This is the one that we're going to, you see, this is the one we're going to sample for a scratch test in a few months time. But the big, big window, I'm going to get you a bit closer in. That's beautiful. I'm really pleased how that's come out. I'm looking at the screen above the lens, so if I'm not looking at you at the lens, I'm looking just above. Looking above, looking at you. I can see that's flowed out nicely. There's not that pimple that I've had before, but that's because I've had the splash of water. It's gone on really nice. Does it dry as quick as the... Mm. The classic stroke original, that dries within minutes. This I've got 10 to 15 minutes between coats, which I just, I'll say it adds time to the job. But if you've got a number of windows on the go, you could probably do a set of windows, then come back to the first one, knowing that the first one you did is dry. That's entirely up to you. The advantage of this being Aquatech and being water-based, one, the gear, the kit washes out dead easy. I've washed this within minutes. Just tip it all out, rinse the pot, clean the suction pipe, flush water through it, done. Water, water washable, dead easy. So that's the advantage. I've got no smell, I've got no cellulose smell. I've had a mask on, but I don't smell anything because it's a water-based product. So it's got a lot of ticks. It's got a lot of advantages. Is it hard wearing enough? That'll be the question when we come to doing the scratch test. Are you using Aquatech on windows, outside windows? Are you using it inside or outside? Please give us some feedback and some comments. What you think of the Aquatech? If you've used call it, if you've used Colorbond Aquatech, how are you applying it? How are you finding it? Long term wise, is it holding up? Because as I said earlier, I've brushed this onto different sorts of surfaces and I can't get me now to scratch it off. This one last year, I can just still, even though it's hard, I can still get me now to scratch it off. Can you see that? I'm hoping this one won't do that, but we'll see. And to be fair, who goes around scratching woodwork or UPVC windows like that? We don't. So really, it probably is fit for purpose. Just don't start scratching it. We well, don't know. But that by the by, really impressed with it. No pimples on there, it's flowed out nicely. And it feels beautiful. I keep saying it feels beautiful. So on that note, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. This is probably a bit of a long-winded one. I've tried to cancel it down for you. But we've done two lots of windows here one that we're going to do a scratch test it scratch test in a few months and another one that we're going to use in the future for repainting different paints over the top It'll probably be aquatech again so i'm going to say a big thanks to simon and david at color bond and not forgetting trent valley windows in nottingham who supplied me free of charge because it was going in the skip so i'll say thank you very much for them for the sample UPVC window. Anybody into wanting UPVC windows, please check Trent Valley windows out in Nottingham. Very helpful. Thanks very much, guys. So on that note, cheerio. See you again. Might be some videos coming up at the side that you want to watch in the future. Uh, thanks for the support.
Cheerio. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Bye-bye.